Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take apart this old computer monitor. Found it on garbage day, unfortunately it doesn't work. And I could bring this in as is to a scrapyard and get electronic weight price. They pay by pound. And this is very heavy, it's about 60 pounds. Uh, but before I bring it in, there's actually some really good things inside of one of these. Just like a TV, there is a nice copper yoke, there's a nice copper cord that goes around the glass, and there are some nice things on the circuit board. So, in order to maximize my profit, I do want to take those off first. And even though I do take those off, the nice thing about something like this is I can still bring it into the scrapyard and it will pay by, by weight, and this will be 100% recycled. Uh, the scrap yards will bring it to an electronic uh, facility, uh, which will scrap everything on this uh, properly and divert it all from the landfill. So that's definitely a good thing. Um, for the sake of this video, I have already taken out the exterior screws. So here we go. I'm just gonna turn it over. There are four screws on the outside. I nicely pulled this off, okay? And I'm glad this is going to be going to the scrap here because this is a big chunk of plastic um, and I hate seeing that go into the garbage. Unfortunately, our municipalities don't do anything with this. If I was to throw this uh, on the curb, it would go to the landfill, so nice thing, I can drop it off. It also has a steel box that I've already taken a couple of screws out. I could put this into my steel pile. Um, it really is not going to matter with weight. It is light, so I'm just going to leave it on here and get the weight for the electronic. I might get a little bit more money, but not much. Okay, there is right here a, um, on top of there, a small circuit board, which is inside the shell. Here is a nice copper yoke. There is a circuit board in the back. There is also a cord that goes around here. Word of caution, before you handle one of these computer monitors or a TV, some people say that you could get shocked if you don't cut the red cord that goes from the glass to the yoke. Uh, I have never been shocked yet. I've dealt with a couple uh, tons of these, uh, but I don't want today to be the first time, so I do follow the advice of these people. Um, so make sure that you cut it using one hand. The other thing before you handle it, make sure you wait a couple days. Uh, some people say that if you pull it out of the um, wall, there still could be a small charge. So let it sit for a couple days before you handle it. I have already cut the cord, so I am good to go. Uh, this comes off the top of the yoke. It, uh, there is a circuit board inside of here, We're surrounded by steel. Um, circuit boards in Canada are their own price. Um, I could bring these circuit boards in separately and depending on your scrap yard, some scrap yards will throw them all in as one price, uh, mine does, but there are some scrap yards, especially in the states, that will value it by low grade, medium grade, high grade, and it all depends on what materials are on the circuit board. If there's gold on there, it's going to be high grade. If there's some silver, uh, some a lot of copper, it might be mid grade. So you want to check with your scrap yard. Uh, but um, this one, I'm just going to leave it in the box here. Uh, I don't see any copper in here. I don't see any gold or silver. So it's just going to sit like this. Okay, here is my yoke. Nice thing about this yoke, it is very easy to get off. Some people will crack the glass to get the air out. You don't need to um, because all I have to do, there's two screws um, that connect this yoke uh, and I just have to take those off. I've already taken one off, but I'm just gonna loosen the other one. It's just a clamp. Okay, so these are usually on there as well. They'll have some plastic things. You just cut them with your pliers. They slide off. Okay, and the nice thing is all that is connecting this yoke to the TV is just a little bit of glue. So if you turn it a couple times, it should, put my glasses on, slide off, and there you go. So the nice thing is if you can see inside that, there's some really nice number two copper. There is a nice little spool of copper on here. And these, there's some red copper there as well. These yokes, very easy to take apart. It's just taking a hammer. 
um, smashing the plastic off there. There is some steel that goes around there. The steel will go in my steel pile. Uh, you definitely want to wear safety glasses. Um, but uh, I'm not going to smash this one right now because um, there is a couple things that I do want to get off there. What I do is I will just gather up all this copper. I will put it into a bag and I will get number two copper price for it because there is some glue on it. There's some coating uh, and it is thin, but it adds up very quickly. I just brought in 55 pounds of it um, and the price in Canada right now is about $2.85. So it's worth taking apart. You're gonna get a lot more money just from the copper alone uh, that you almost would just the TV by itself. So definitely wanna do that. Uh, I am gonna have a video on how to take these apart uh, separately from different uh, appliances like my TVs and stuff. So when that comes out, check that out. But again, very easy, just break it with a hammer. Okay, I also have around this cord, and they're usually attached with zip ties, um, a nice copper cord. So in order to get the last bit out, I do have to just cut a couple of the cords so I can slide it out. Uh, sometimes it is attached there, okay? There is, there is a C clamp back there I have to get in a minute, but I'm going to start, I guess, with this um, circuit board. I'm just going to take the last couple of screws off so I can slide it out. Hopefully, it's going to come out this way. How the circuit board is attached. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Right. Couple screws left in here. Hopefully, that will take it out. So this circuit board, it's just attached by a couple uh, screws that I'm going to take off. But as you can notice, there's about four really nice aluminum heat sinks. So aluminum, 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 smaller ones right there. Okay, those are clean aluminum. They are attached by some pegs. Uh, and a screw, so I am going to take those off. Uh, there is a couple transformers here, and the transformers, it depends. If they're, if I'm looking inside and there's not a lot of copper I can see, I will leave these on. I could, however, take them off and put them into their own categories. Transformers are about 10 cents a pound, um, so I could take those off. The rest of this cord I will take off. I'm going to put this into my uh, insulated copper pile. Uh, there's a small spool of copper right there that I will take off and There is a small box here that will have a couple silver contacts as well as this box right there Okay, so a silver contact. I am gonna have a video on silver contacts uh, but essentially what a silver contact looks like is inside if I open it there will be, where is it? Gotta get a silver contact for you right here. So a small dot. There'll be a small spool of copper as well. As you can see right there, that is a small silver dot. So what I will do is I will break those off. I put them into a separate container and hopefully one day I will hit it with some nitric acid and make a silver bouillon. Um, but Again, really nice aluminum on here. This aluminum in Canada would go for about 40 cents a pound. And once I add these up, there's probably about two pounds worth of aluminum right there. So it's gonna be worth a lot more than this circuit board as is. If I just brought the circuit board in, I may, might make five cents, okay? So worth my time, as well as getting 
with the little copper spools on. On the back here, now I've released it. Uh, it's just last couple zip ties. Okay, I've got to just release those. There we go. So this cord here goes around a TV, it goes around a computer, and what I want to do is sometimes they are actually aluminum, sometimes they're copper. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it with a pair of pliers. And as you can see inside, that is copper. So this is more than a appliance cord. Um, if I was to bring in this wire, which plugs into the uh, tower, um, this is going to be worth about a dollar a pound because there is copper inside of this. This one, because these are, it is stronger, this will actually go for about a dollar twenty-five to $1.30 uh, in Canada for this. Um, so you want to make sure you separate it. Um, I have tried using a stripper on this um, and what I find is the little fibers of copper are too small. It's messy when you take the tape off of those. So I actually just throw this in as is. And this is heavy. This is about two pounds worth of copper. And you find these, as I said, on all computers, towers, on, on the older ones, and on TVs. But before you cut it and put it into your copper, again, you want to make sure it is copper. If I cut this open and it was metallic inside, then it would be aluminum and it's not worth my time. Um, you're not going to get much for it. Um, so I actually just put it into my uh, dirty aluminum pile, which is better than nothing, but it's not going to give you copper. If you put it all together and the scrapyard sees it, they will penalize you tremendously for a dirty load. So be careful of that. Okay, so the nice thing about this now, I will put the rest of that uh, box back together. This is still going to go as e-waste. There is a small circuit board on the bottom here uh, that's not going to be worth much. There's still some speakers um, and other materials, metals. So the nice thing is, is all of this, once I put it back together, will be able to be further recycled properly and most importantly, diverted from the landfill. So just to recap, it is worth your time to separate it. It took me all but 15 minutes. You've got a really nice copper yoke. You've got some really nice aluminum heat sinks. As well, you have some lower grade copper wire here. This wire is about 20 cents in Canada. I do cut this off as well and put it separately from my appliance wire. Um, some silver. I had, as I said, some cords. And I have a really nice heavy copper wire that goes around it. Hope you found that informative. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Tin Man out.